everybody. I am Jackie Atjakola, Executive Director of Cat Depot here in Sarasota, Florida. We are your resource for cat adoption, cat care, education programs, and Kindness Matters is a show that explores our relationship with all living things around us, from the pets living in our homes, to the birds in the trees, to the animals here living offshore. We all share our homes and our environment with all manner of beasts, and I can't contain myself any longer because I am sharing this show with Beignet, and we will meet some of his friends and our, our hosts of, of the puppies in, in a little bit. But celebrating our relationship with all living things and animals gives us great joy. And in my life, animals have always played a really significant role. And I reflect daily on my relationships with my pets, uh, my successes with my um, animal colleagues at work, and just celebrating those relationships simply put, it makes me smile. So during this show, we hope to share a little of that joy with you, share a smile, and learn something along the way, and we'll all learn together. I do have to say, over the last few months, we've all been challenged just by life. Um, we might be separated from loved ones and not able to travel. We might be facing COVID-19 firsthand. We could be in the midst of financial hardship or all of those things might be hitting us all at once. Um, regardless, we're all dealing with stresses in one way or another, certainly. I am a reasonably social person. I really enjoy being around people. Also, I'm an only child, so I like my time at home alone as well. But in the last several months, there have been stretches when I've really had to reach for the happy. So. I had to kind of think about how to view my isolation time. So I you know, poured my glass half full and really embraced my forced time at home. And I'm really thankful for it now because I've had some really needy pets. Uh, the Jacolas have some senior animals uh, as pets at home. In fact, in California, I haven't found it yet since we moved, but we had a sign on the ranch gate that said geriatric acres. And this is, this is true, it's a true sign. Uh, our ranch is just that. So we try our best to take our greatest care of our pets and we're in it for the long haul. Uh, recently, Gypsy, uh, my longtime trail horse, uh, she's in her mid-20s, really of unknown age. She was diagnosed with lymphoma. So we're doing the best we can uh, with the diagnosis and a great veterinary team to keep her happy. And she's hanging out with her friends and enjoying some pasture time. And we'll do right by her. So as long as she's happy and eating and hanging out and nickering at me when I go down in the morning, all is good. Um, also, uh, we've been dealing with, and you met him here in Kindness Matters, our little corgi, Whizzer. He's 10 years old. He developed a really crazy skin condition. And we have a great team of veterinarians, but we have specialists even all the way up in Tampa working with him. And we've kind of gotten his skin condition under control with a daily uh, bath, a daily a dilute bleach rinse, and some other creams and topical medications that are pretty labor intensive. But my work from home time has allowed me to help him overcome his illness. And he, I'm had, happy to say he's about 100% right now. So he, he is doing really well. So I have really treasured my work from home time and my work from home animal colleagues for, for all the joy that they've brought me over the years. I've been blessed to spend extra time with them now when they've really needed me. So it just takes a, a lot of patience, a little kindness, a lot of learning along the way, but this isolation time has turned into a time for me where I'm thankful to have more of it with my with our pets. Um, life is too short anyway, and as we know, pets' lives can, can be very short. So this, this has been a, a, a good work from home time for me. Now at Cat Depot, we have so many cats in need of loving homes that could also bring you smiles and bring you joy. So we'd like to introduce you virtually to Sasha, who was back at Cat Depot today with Bender, one of our adoption counselors. And um, he's going to tell you a little bit about this adoptable cat. Hello, I'm Bender. We're here at Cat Depot with a cat named Sasha. Now, Sasha is a very pretty cat with a very pretty name, but he's actually a boy. Sasha is a nickname in Russian for Alexander. So he's not the only boy with the name Sasha either. 
He has a very affectionate cat. He's very playful. He's about six years old. And most recently, he came to Cat Depot uh, for medical treatment that his owner could not uh, handle herself. So now he's all, he's all good, he's all recovered, and he's ready for a new home. He requests lots of feather toys in his new home. And a little bit later, once he's done, once I can get this toy from him, we'll also show you how he can walk on a harness. Sasha is a very smart cat. And we got him leash walking because he would get bored here at Cat Depot, you know, even with his visitors and even with the playtime. It's, uh, it's not a home and he doesn't get to do everything he wants to do. So by putting him on harness and letting him walk around, we give him more enrichment and make his life here a little more interesting for him. He does know where he lives. And when he's done, he's, he's going to walk me right back to his home. You might notice he's wobbling a little bit, and the harness does affect his uh, center of balance, but he's doing pretty well. Some cats completely fall over in the harness, and he, he took to it really naturally. Sasha is an awesome cat. I was able to spend some time with him today. He really likes uh, pets and chin scratches. So if you're interested in adopting Sasha or have any questions about him, please tomorrow give Cat Depot a call at 941-366-2404. We are open by appointment and our adoption counselors would love to speak to you about Sasha. I am excited tonight. We have our first sponsors for Kindness Matters. Oasis, Opera for Animals, Singing is Saving. Our friends, Carol and Randy, you are awesome. Thank you so much. Special shout out to the Sarasota Film Society for a little bit of collaboration here. And we are thrilled to be back in studio at Mars Vision Productions. So today, and my little friend went to sleep in my lap and I think I'm gonna let him sleep, um, but we are celebrating National Mutt Day, mixed breed dogs. Um, apparently and approximately 80% of dogs in shelters um, are mixed breed dogs. So th the awesomeness in, in my mind of a mixed breed dogs is you have all the great characteristics that you love from so many breeds all rolled up into to one puppy. And my poppy puppy, who you met a few months ago, is a beautiful mixed breed, and I can, I can say that because I'm her mom. Uh, we adopted her, and we were curious as to, to what she was, so we did have her uh, genetics tested, and she turned out, and we did this for medical reasons, we were wondering if she might be predisposed to some problems. Turns out she's a whole lot of German Shepherd, um, she's a little bit of Chihuahua, she's a little bitty pity, she's part Border Collie, it got some freckles on her face, she's got four white feet, uh, again, I think she's beautiful, she's super smart, again, I'm the mom, um, but mixed breed dogs, again, um, are, have uh, all the best traits of every kind of dog, so they um, might not have certain dispositions for illness or injury. Those might not be prominent. They can possibly live longer. They are certainly just as smart as purebred dogs. They can be working dogs, such as bomb sniffing or drug sniffing dogs. They can be search and rescue dogs. They can guide the challenge. So there are millions of loving, healthy, mixed breed dogs in shelters who are desperately searching for new homes. And National Mutt Day is the perfect day. I can't contain my excitement anymore because we are here to welcome Derry and Rob Oglesby from Nate's Honor Animal Rescue off Lorraine Road. And they brought puppies. Thank <laughs> you for having us. Thank you so much for being here. Um, tell me who you brought first, and then we'll talk a little bit about um, what they are and maybe what National Mutt Day means to you. I have Sandy. And this is Carmela. And everybody is so polite and quiet <laughs> and just taking a nap. And I, oh, I'm going to do it. I have little beignet. And what, what kind of puppies are these? Mixed breed nuts. Mixed breed puppies, of <laughs> the course they kind. are. A little of everything. And how old? Oh, these guys are eight weeks old. Eight weeks old. So they're ready for adoption? They will be ready next weekend. They're going to go spay neuter this week and be available next weekend. 
And so I assume they were brought by their dedicated foster mom? Yes, these guys have been living for a couple weeks um, in a foster home. They came in with severe skin issues and loaded with parasites, and they weren't the healthiest puppies. So there's actually six of them all together, so we divided them up into two foster homes. And are they all kind of a blondie color? No, some they... of them are black, actually. Oh, interesting. Okay, and where were they rescued from? Um, a shelter, a kill shelter up in Georgia that we partner with. They don't have an adoption program at all. So there's no way for the animals to get out of the shelter unless they're transferred to facilities like ours. Oh my gosh, wow. And how often do you make those runs to help well, that They generally shelter? call us and say, help, you know, we're in need. So I would say once a month. And how how many, I mean, I know you have other animals out at Nates too, but how how many puppies and dogs a year do you adopt or we adopt out about 1800 dogs a year wow okay yeah. and cats about five to six hundred cats that's a lot of animals any yeah. any other animals do you no, do it okay <laughs> that's, that's, plenty. That's, that's, enough. Enough. that's enough all right and how are you celebrating national mutt day mm -hmm. besides it's, being here with puppies and thank you <laughs> Well, it's a perfect day for us because we all of our animals we consider mutts. We actually, if you look on our website, you'll see mixed breed, mixed breed. A lot of people want to know what it is. They're all mixed breeds. You know, to us, they're the best kind and full of unconditional love, and that's really what counts. They are the best kind. You see your friends over there? Um, I've had the pleasure of meeting both of you on several occasions and, and visiting your facility, but I know you have a lot of exciting things happening, and I think we have some renderings or images of that, so maybe you can, can walk us through what's going on out there. Have you started construction? Yeah, we're doing all the site work now. Okay. So we, we tend to flood, but um, they're doing all of the underground drainage now. It's not very sexy, but it's definitely needed. And what are we what are we looking at here? This is the uh, front building that'll have a vet clinic and a small area to eat and um, grooming and um, event rooms, children's education, a cat wing, just all kinds of uh, different things for the community. Are you really going to have ice cream? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. for ice cream and Belgian waffles for people. Yes. For people, I'm in. <laughs> Ice, ice cream and wine, my favorite foods there. Um, okay, so, wow, so this doesn't really look anything like what you've got going now. The, the dog uh, complex is still Number there. nine exists, those cottages. Okay. We're doubling the amount of cottages we have, and we're utilizing all eight acres. We're going to have a, about a quarter mile walking path around that back pond, so everybody can walk a dog and do a little lap, like sort of like a high school track, but it'll be around the pond. Wow. And so will you still serve the same number of animals and just uh, we'll probably kind of an We'll probably double the amount of adoptions. Hard to tell. What? We never <laughs> thought we'd be doing as many as we are now. <laughs> when we had a 1,000, we thought we were doing great. But it just keeps growing. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot more space for cats in the building because the cats were initially in the cottages, and now those cat cottages are dog cottages, which frees up dog space, and the cats will be inside. So the number three section there on the map are catios. So they'll have, oh, fantastic. They'll they'll have, have nice patios for the cats. Yeah, ours really like that. Yeah. Ours enjoy that at Cat Depot as well. Well, cool. So when do you, it, is it fully funded? Are you still fundraising for we're the We're at capital? 70%. It's a $10 million project. Um, we're still doing fundraising. We're doing the back section first in phase one and two, and then we'll start the large building, phase three. That'll probably start like January. So uh, it's pretty exciting. That's our intake building. Okay. So uh, when a new animal comes in, they, if they are not up to date on vaccines, they'll go back there for their two weeks hold period, so to speak. And so people that have dogs and cats that didn't come from you will still be able to use a veterinary clinic? Mm -hmm. You're going to have yes. a, a vet clinic there? And we're going to have a training center as well. So people, if they need some help training to keep the animals in their homes, we'll, we'll have a training for the public. So a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. And you're doing a lot of it already. So will the buildings that currently exist then be gone except for the dog area? Our welcome so. center where we've done the almost ten, fifteen thousand uh, dollars adoptions that we have now, it's being torn down on Monday and oh it's kind of bittersweet. Yeah. Yeah, that's kinda hard. How long have you two been there? Ten years. Ten years. Ten ten, yeah, almost eleven. So a lot of changes. Lots or this of will, changes. This will be the biggest one, right? This will be. This is 
will be our fourth facility that we've moved in. You know, we started at Nate's. We had a temporary place then. Oh. So. Yeah, we we've started doing grown. about 365 adoptions a year. Now we're over almost 2,500, and who knows what's going to happen. That's it's kind fantastic. of exciting. How long has this been in the planning? <laughs> Three, four years. Oh. Well, from my perspective, you're probably doing pretty well moving <laughs> moving yeah. fast, but it feels like forever, it's right? It feels like yeah. forever. <laughs> Awesome. Um, how big is your staff and volunteers, and what are you doing during COVID? So we have a, a small, generally small staff with uh, 10 employees. Okay. So um, a couple of those being part-time as well. Right now, we don't have volunteers. Um, we are being run 100% by staff. A lot of our volunteers just aren't safe, and we respect that. So right now, we're doing it on our own. We're doing adoptions as well by appointment only, so it's easier and not we do a lot of chores and so that takes a lot of volunteer and people so without uh, doing tours it's been able to free up you mean, oh so you mean like school tours so and just just right. people they come out and they just want to pet the dogs you know i mean you know they just want to play and pet and we're just not normally 90 percent right, yeah. of our labor is volunteers but everything's changed with with yeah. covid so we just adjusted and adapted yeah, yeah it's hard and we miss our volunteers at yes. cat depot as well and so we're just trying to to find ways to keep everyone safe and distanced yeah. and engaged and that that is a challenge right now because we certainly need everyone and it takes yeah. takes a whole team and mm -hmm. animal welfare network uh, to get it all done rob yours is oh you guys are everybody's everybody's <laughs> napping this is so calming and can i tell you yeah. we're just like here well we're all here petting puppies and just having a zen time while we have our conversation <laughs> um average day for you guys do you both work there together? You go home together and you're always together? There's, well, there's no such thing as an average day. <laughs> you might think you're going to do something on a day, but who knows what happens in animal rescue. So every day is different. But you're co-directors. Tell me, what does that mean? It means I do whatever she tells me to do. Awesome. Yeah. It works perfect. <laughs> <laughs> perfect recipe. What is your favorite thing that you do during the day? I like going and pulling the animals from the kill shelters and then watching them get nursed back to health and then see them walk out with the family. That's what keeps me going. And any special story that really tugs at heartstrings? Well, the one that gets that... me, and you're probably going to make me cry, was Bones. So we called him Bones, politically incorrect. He was so malnourished, you could see every bone on his body. And I had to carry him out of there. He got nursed back to health. He walked out the front door of the Welcome Center with the family, and the little bugger turned around and winked at me. So, ah. so that's Bonesy. And, that's my favorite. And was Bones a big dog, little dog? Bones, when we got him, I mean, he was nothing but skin and bones, and now I think he's, like, tipping, like, 110. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. Wow. We had no idea he was going to get that big. Probably a big lab something mix. And biggest challenge you guys face? Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I, I guess part of it is just you're constantly, your days are, you try and plan out how everything's going to go and it just never works that way. So, um, keeping everybody happy, everybody's got an opinion <laughs> in animal good, welfare. Good, good, good luck with keeping everyone happy. Yeah. I do well to keep one happy at home. That's <laughs> you have to have thick skin because no matter what you do, someone's going to think you're, th think it's wrong. So just yeah. do the best you can. Think everyone, it's all about these guys, and that's well, what we have to remind yeah. everyone. It's about the animals. It's nothing personal. These guys, I, I know. I'm I know. just, oh, my goodness. Are you snoring? They're poor foster mom when they go back home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have had their nap here yeah. and then be, be tearing Get around the, the house. How many pets do you guys have at home? One. Well, that's not true. Chicken. We have a chicken and a duck and one dog. And they all get along? Mm -hmm. The dog doesn't. Interact, with, interact the with the chicken and duck. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. Um, anything uh, in general that you would like to add? Um, what's your biggest joy at work? Definitely watching the joy on the faces of the people when they walk out the door with a pet. It's like you've just completed a part of them that's missing. So, and some many people come in and they've lost a pet and there's just this huge void in this whole in their heart and they walk out and it's like all of a sudden they're happy again. Life has yeah. changed. So did your adoptions go up uh, during 
the pandemic? They've gone down just slightly. Gone down a little. Not just, a little. just because we can only do so many appointments in a day. So we're limited on the amount of time that we have. Yeah, amazing. It didn't really go down. That our much. intakes. Same. Same. Yeah, our, yeah. Our, ours are down a little bit as well, yeah. but still uh, we're finding that, you know, people, um, as I mentioned in the beginning, you know, ha have time have time now, a little more time at home than they yeah. expected. And yeah. so it's a, it's a good time to bring a pet in and then to learn how to adjust if we ever go back to, yes. to whatever normal is. Um, that's going to be a whole new learning curve for our, our puppies and our it kitties. It is, definitely. And, uh, rapid fire so don't think about it too much and I guess I'll just have to whoever answers first your favorite pet of all time I like our current dog now Coco I do too. Oh, when gosh. we bought our house they left her with us really she came with the house we she moved in she was waiting for us oh that's kind of sad did they just leave her or did they offer we her knew two? They, <laughs> they, they could only have two dogs where they were moving and they had three so and you got the best one we got, we, the, we got best the best one. one yeah she's a great dog best pet's name you've ever heard? I don't know. That's a good one. I don't, I don't know. That one's smiling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> pet names you have for one another. You can't say it on air yeah. for what she calls me. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> um, okay. Come on, guys. Play along. Favorite adventure? Costa Rica. Oh, cool. What'd you do there? Jet skied, jumped on an ATV, went through the jungle, zip lined, ATV, jet ski. Back. It was a blast. Any critters? Did you Monkeys see? in the oh, trees. Monkeys in the trees. Yeah. Awesome. That was that was a great. So when you can travel again, where will you go? I want to see my son in Colorado because we haven't been able to see him. So that would definitely be. Yes. Yes. And you have grandbabies. And I have grandbabies. Yes. That's, see, that's, that's hard. Yeah, that's, it's hard. So your favorite hobby, jet skiing, you you're, might not be doing that right now. Golf if I didn't have a Golf. ruptured Achilles. Okay. Yeah. Golf, but I'm not having surgery next month on my shoulder. Guys! <laughs> we're falling apart. Yeah, we're... <laughs> All right. Well, anything you would like to add? What should we know about these puppies? They are, they'll be available next week. If you would like one, please visit our website, fill out an application, and our adoption counselors will contact you. Don't stop by, because we are closed. Must have an appointment. Must have, Must have an appointment. appointment. And this is little Beignet and... I have Sandy. Sandy, and they... They're perfect when they're sleepy, <laughs> but they are they are puppies when they're awake, and they they had a, quite a romp uh, before we got started here. But they are they are awesome, and they are just making making us all feel good today. So. And Carmela's a foster fail. Her foster family is keeping her, so don't. Oh, that does happen. That happens. That happens. Well, I think I think we'll call it a, a good evening, and thank you, dear thank you for Rob. having us. Thanks for having us. Thank you to uh, Oasis Opera for Animals, Singing is Saving. Thank you to Sarasota Film Society, Mars Vision Productions, and the awesome team at Cat Depot. Um, appreciate everyone's participation in these Kindness Matters shows. Reminder to all of you that Cat Depot is a 501c3. We are a nonprofit doing good in the world for cats and people who love them. We are launching more virtual program opportunities. In fact, tonight, um, I believe at 6 o'clock, we have our first ever Namaste Yoga. Registrations are still probably open, so if you go into our Facebook feed from earlier in the week, you can probably find some advertising for that. Uh, we are asking for a $10 donation per class, and with that, you get professional yoga instruction. You are in the safety of your own home. You can do yoga with your own pets. Your whole family can get involved um, and just enjoy some time or just uh, check it out, and we'll have some footage from tonight's show, so you'll be able to see what all is involved with that soon. So please check out our website to learn more about the online yoga, the launch of cat chats, the other virtual programs that we're offering until we can see you again in person really soon. 
We have, um, and this is little, but if you go to our website, we have a new way to shop in our retail store. We have a lot of cat-related items. So if you go to the website, you can pull up the form, you can order ahead of time, you can pay ahead of time, and when you come to Cat Depot, just give us a call and we will have your whole order bagged and ready for you. If your cat is a patient at the Cat Depot Cat Care Clinic, that's, that's a mouthful. Cat Depot Cat Care Clinic. Um, we are one of the first clinics in the area that are launching virtual exam visits. So our staff will come out and greet you at your car. You'll remain in the car. We take the cat into the clinic to our expert veterinary team, and you will be able to use your, your own device and interact with them, uh, with the staff, while uh, your cat is in uh, seeing the doctor and the veterinary nurses and technicians. So if you're interested uh, in an appointment, please uh, again call ahead 941-366-CATS for our cat care clinic. Next month on Kindness Matters, we'll be pleased to be back here and welcome a guest from Animal Network in Manatee County, Pam Frenny. So until then, Cat Depot is here for you, but again, just like Nate's, by appointment. Uh, due to COVID-19, you cannot just drop in. We're trying to keep everyone distanced and safe. Meanwhile, visit us on the web, comment here on the news feed. Please share, share, share. Um, help us save lives. And I'm going to wake you up again because you're too cute not to say goodbye again from Nate's Honor Animal Rescue. This is Ben Yeh. And if you can be anything in this world, please be kind. And let's all explore together how kindness matters. Thanks, everybody. Oh, still sleeping. Ha, 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 ha.